floor. Break a leg. <laughs> not I think literally. Aunt Patsy's willing to give it up. <laughs> okay, this is not a, a new poem. It's it's been around a while, but then so it's Patsy. <laughs> But this is an ode to Patsy Carroll on her birthday. It says, I wanted to write to you, Patsy, and convey best wishes on another historic birthday. And Mary Mark told me it would be okay as long as I could find something positive to say. <laughs> so I'll say nothing about your meatloaf mess that you burnt to a crisp but served nevertheless. <laughs> Or the paper dress you purposely tore to a shred and claimed it was done by accident instead. <laughs> Let's not discuss what all your friends drink, think when at parties you steal their cocktail drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of these embarrassments I will discuss. I won't even mention the Buena Vista toilet fuss. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Or the night I thought you were going loony, hunting bugs in that cabin with Mary and Booney. <laughs> I'll not dwell on this, but most thought it uncool when you forgot baby Mo at the swimming pool. <laughs> I'll discuss none of those things. No, not today. Because you just try to explain them away. <laughs> You'll defame your brother-in-law with false accusation which will distract from your birthday celebration. <laughs> so I'll just say this, no matter how it appears, I like being your friend for the past so many years. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just had, I had, did add this little PS, this is for the benefit of all the folks here on Patsy's celebration. To Patsy's friends and family, don't hesitate to ask Patsy for clarification on all, any of these accusations. <laughs> but please give her a day or two to think up something plausible and <coughs> reshape the story to her liking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing.